Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D, Boston Rocks at this event by Chronicle Speaks. This is an update on the Shanquella Robinson case. Apparently, Dejanae Jackson has just been arrested, so this is definitely a win. So we're going to get the details about this. And shout out to all y'all who have uh, requested that I keep reacting to updates about this case. And it definitely is, you know, uh, increasing visibility and spreading more awareness about this case, which definitely puts pressure on them to make more arrests. Because if you guys recall, they they initially weren't even trying to proceed with this case. They were trying to close it and write it off as alcohol poisoning. But it's not until it got so much media attention, which is definitely fueled by social media and people talking about it. Um, and that is what caused them to open the case again and actually start arresting people. So it's definitely important that we continue to talk about it and, you know, discuss updates and whatnot. So, yeah, we're going to see uh, what happened with this, this chick getting arrested and who else is getting arrested next. That's the next question. But, yeah, let's watch. Breaking news straight from Mr. Gerardo Zaninga himself. Miss Dejanae Jackson is officially arrested in the United States. Dejanae oh, Jackson was placed in federal custody waiting for her to begin her extradition process to, to Mexico, Mexico. Okay. San Jose del Cabo, Baja, California, sir. During the night of November 28th, Dejanae Jackson was arrested by Interpol agents after a control judge issued an arrest warrant against her for the crime of femicide of Shanquilla Robinson, murdered on October 29th in the Cabo Villa complex in this tourist destination. Dejanae Jackson was placed in federal custody, waiting for her to begin her extradition process to Mexico, where she will be formally accused of the femicide of the 25-year-old businesswoman. Y'all don't know how happy I am. The extradition process took between one and two weeks, resulting from the procedure that the Attorney General's Office of Justice carried out in the Attorney General's Office of the Republic and this in turn to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Mexico. The Attorney General Office of the State of Baja, California, sir, managed to prove that the woman who appears in the video attacking Shanquilla Robinson is precisely Dejanae Jackson, as Metropolo Mix reported at the time. According to Mr. Zuniga, although the information did come in yesterday, he found out about it today. They are not current or they are not sure what state she got locked up in. She is still currently going through processing. Mm -hmm. So I did search through the Interpol website. I did a search on the VineLink website as well as a search to see if any red notices were out with her name on it. I'm not able to show anything yet, but he is for sure that she was arrested last night. Now, just to catch you up, I did explain in my video yesterday when she gets to the prison, it's San Jose del Cabo prison in Mexico. When she gets there, they will have what they call the first hearing. During that first hearing, they're going to read her her rights. They will read her all of the evidence, all of the accusations, everything that they have, she will have as well. Any audio, any video, all documents, anything that will incriminate her. Now, I am not sure if she has an attorney appearing with her. Either way, she's going mm. to get all of this information That's during the, the first hearing, and she will be given a chance to state what happened during that night on October 29th. Mm. Now, after that first hearing, they'll have a second hearing. After that second hearing, the prosecutors are going to have three to six months to complete and close the investigation. Again, there will be no jury trial. The judge will actually decide her fate. As of now, we have heard nothing else about any other warrants for the other five members of the Cabo Six However, that does not mean that there won't be any warrants given. I am sure once Dejanae gets to Mexico, she will be singing like a canary. She might be singing already in the United States because of fear. We are not sure as of yet if she was apprehended or if she turned herself in. Either way, she was aware that there was a warrant for her arrest. And in whatever state she's sitting in right now, she is waiting to be extradited back to Mexico to hear her charges and to plead her case, whatever that might be. This is all the information we have right now. When we do receive more information, please believe we will let you guys know. More arrests, I am sure, will come, and I cannot okay. wait until it happens. Dejanae Jackson, I don't think there's anyone in this world that would want to be you.
right now. Yes, get her. I'm so glad that they arrested her and they arrested her pretty quick because I was kind of concerned. Like, you know, what if she goes into hiding and goes on the run, you know, and they have a difficult time getting her into custody. But no, they found her pretty quickly. So this is definitely a win. I really hope they start to issue arrest warrants for everybody else who was on this trip because none of them should get off scot-free. Not not one of them, because all y'all flew back home and, and had the same lie and said that, you know, she was alcohol poisoned. So at the very least, y'all should get some type of time for being an accomplice in, in this murder because y'all lied. Y'all lied about it when y'all got home. So everybody should get some time. So I want to see arrest warrants for every single person involved, even the one who got online and said, oh, I showed up after this already happened. I don't care. I don't care. You seem to go home and lie as well. You didn't you didn't go back home and say, hey, this girl was killed or she got jumped. She didn't get alcohol poison. No, you went with the story like everybody else. So you do some time as well. Right, right out in Mexico. Fuck all y'all. So, yeah, I'll be back to report on this when some more updates are released. But I'm glad that, you know, they have her into custody and she's been arrested. So we'll see what happens with that. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.